Hello, folks. Uh, welcome to another episode of The Authentic Coach. Uh, this is where we explore the powerful world of coaching and its uh, transformative impact on uh, people's lives. And today we're diving into the role of the life coach, someone who helps people unlock their potential and make uh, meaningful changes to lead a, a more fulfilling life. Life coaching is more than just goal setting or, or problem solving. It's about helping individuals tap into their deeper selves to create a long lasting change. Now in this episode, uh, we'll discuss the importance of changing behaviors, the challenges uh, that come with, uh, with all of that, and how all types of coaching provide the guidance people need to thrive. You'll also hear real life examples of how coaching can speak uh, and, and, and can spark uh, true transformation. Hi, I'm Richard Fontenay, and I have been a consultant, a coach, and a facilitator for over 50 years. Uh, all my coaching is now uh, completed virtually. But it wasn't always like that. You know, I ran a, a coaching brick and mortar company for over 35 years, and now I offer uh, coaching virtually uh, from my home office. And thank you for joining us today. A bit of note before we start, and although we'll, uh, we'll concentrate on uh, life coaching, we'll also interface uh, life coaching with other specific methods. Uh, like uh, executive and, and career coaching. So if you're ready to explore what life coaching can do and how it differs from other types of coaching, stay tuned. Now let's get started. Let's begin with the importance of uh, changing behaviors. At the heart of uh, life coaching lies one essential principle. Meaningful change begins with changing behaviors. Often, uh, people know what they want. They may want more confidence or better relationships, a healthier lifestyle, but they struggle to take the consistent actions that lead to those outcomes. That's where a life coach comes in. Life coaches help uh, their clients identify the habits and patterns that uh, are holding them back, whether it's procrastination, a negative self-talk, or even a lack of boundaries. These behaviors often become roadblocks uh, to personal growth. But here's the key. Change doesn't happen overnight, and it isn't always easy. Coaches uh, work alongside clients to help them understand why these patterns exist and how they can be replaced with uh, new, more constructive habits. Through a combination of uh, reflection, action planning, and accountability, clients start to see progress, and sometimes in ways they really didn't expect. The beauty of behavior change is that uh, even small shifts can uh, create a, a ripple effect. A tiny change like uh, setting better boundaries at work might lead to reduced stress, improved relationships, and a stronger sense of self-worth. These incremental changes compound over time, leading to profoundly different and often a better life. So in essence, life coaching is about uh, fostering uh, behavioral change within individuals so that they can grow into the possible version of themselves. The most powerful transformations usually start with the simplest of actions. Now, life coaching doesn't come without its challenges. Um, although it can lead to profound changes, 
The journey is often not without any kind of challenges. The first major obstacle that many clients face is resistant to change. Even though they know that making changes will improve their lives, uh, often fear and uncertainty uh, can hold them back. And this is where a life coach skills uh, becomes essential. Helping clients move beyond their comfort zone and embrace the unknown. Another common challenge is overcoming deeply ingrained limiting beliefs. Now, whether it's a thought that uh, I'm not good enough or I'll never succeed, these internal narratives can sabotage progress before it, uh, before it even begins. Life coaches help clients recognize these destructive beliefs, challenge their validity, and help them replace a more empowering uh, perspectives. Emotional ups and downs are also a natural part of any, um, any change process. Clients often experience setbacks, frustration, and moments of doubt. A life coach uh, provides emotional support and encouragement to help them push through those difficult times. So helping clients uh, receive their goals and, and give them more, more motivational uh, opportunities during those processes. Another big challenge is accountability. It's easy to slip back into old habits when one is watching uh, and or not watching what they're doing. So between uh, uh, the, ca the, uh, the coach and the, the client, it's critically important that uh, the coach regularly checks in when needed so that progress, no matter how small, continues. So in summary, life coaching involves navigating internal and external uh, behaviors. The coach's role is to support, to guide and challenge uh, the coachee to overcome any kind of obstacles so that they can move forward. So really, what is coaching all about? Well, simply, life coaching is uh, a partnership between the coach and the client. And, and it's designed to help the client reach their, their full potential in various areas of life. It's not therapy, monitoring, or, or consulting. Instead, coaching focuses on helping clients clarify their goals, identify obstacles, and create actionable plans to achieve the life that they desire. Now, life coaching is also holistic, meaning it takes into account all aspects of the individual life, personal, professional, emotional, and even spiritual. It's not limited to solving immediate problems, but aims to foster long-term growth and fulfillment. The goal isn't just to achieve an external success, like getting a promotion or starting a business but to help individuals find balance and meaning and joy in their lives. A life coach typically uses tools such as uh, reflective questioning, visualization, uh, goal setting strategies to help clients unlock their potential. The coach doesn't provide uh, answers to tell clients what to do, Instead, they help clients discover within themselves the, the solutions so that they can empower themselves in their lives along their journey. Life coaching is all about forward movement. It's about taking people from where they are now to where they want to be. So it's future focused with an emphasis on uh, creating actionable steps and sustaining motivation over time. So what's the difference between life coaching, executive coaching, and uh, career coaching? Well, those are really different forms of coaching. 
Well, all coaching approaches uh, a, a, a client to share a, a focus on helping individuals achieve their goals. Uh, they have different emphasis. And executive coaching is primarily focused on leadership and uh, professional development within the context of a, of a business or, or an organization. It's geared towards high-level professionals like uh, CEOs or executive managers who, who need to refine uh, their decision-making abilities, their communication and leadership skills. The aim is to optimize performance and improve business outcomes. Career coaching is more specific to job transitions, professional development, and career planning. It could help uh, someone switch industries, land a promotion, or, or develop key skills uh, for their role. So career coaching is about aligning the client's professional path with their aspirations. Now, life coaching, on the other hand, is broader. It doesn't focus solely on work or leadership, but encompasses a wide range of areas like relationships, health, uh, personal happiness, and finding the balance of growth within all that. Life coaches may help uh, with specific uh, issues so that they can improve their overall quality in life. So, to put it simply, executive and career coaching tend to zero on a person's work life, while life coaching looks at the whole picture. It's about guiding clients toward becoming the best version of themselves, not just in their careers, but in all facets of their life. However, let me be clear about one thing. While executive and career coaching may focus on professional growth and leadership, uh, life concerns like stress management, time management, effective decision making are all integral to that type of coaching in order to achieve success in all areas of life. So coaches understand that challenges in personal well-being can directly impact career performance. Thus, executive and career coaches uh, work with clients on uh, specific job skills and uh, life skills that enhance resilience, focus, and energy. So by addressing these concerns holistically, coaches help clients uh, find harmony between their personal lives and professional ambitions, empowering them to perform at their best without sacrificing well-being. Now let's explore two real-life examples that illustrate the power that coaching has in helping people transform their lives. Uh, the first example relates to someone who wishes to start a business and uh, their need to overcome self-doubt and strengthen confidence. One of my clients uh, came to me struggling with the self-doubt. Despite having the skills and the experience to pursue a, a career in, uh, in photography, she hesitated to take the leap. She felt unworthy of success and feared failure. Now, through our sessions, we worked on reframing her limiting beliefs, addressing the uh, root uh, of her fears, and setting small, achievable goals that aligned with her vision. And each week, she began to take concrete steps, creating a business plan and a portfolio, networking with uh, fellow artists, and sharing her work online. And little by little, uh, she grew. And today, she's a thriving uh, photographer and loves every day in her business. The second example 
is about the importance of managing work-life balance and reducing stress. Now, this person was a high-achieving professional who uh, constantly was overwhelmed by the demands of his job and personal life. He felt like he was always playing catch-up, and stress was uh, taking a toll on his health and his relationships. And through coaching, we identified areas where he could set boundaries and reprioritize his time. We developed uh, time management, decision-making, and self-care strategies that allowed him to uh, regain control. And within a few months, uh, he noticed significant improvements in his mental well-being. And uh, he was able to spend uh, more quality time with his family while excelling at work. Now, these examples show how the coach highlights the practical and emotional support that all coaching provides. By helping clients overcome obstacles, create sustainable habits, and uh, coaching leads to uh, personal transformation. Now let's wrap up this podcast. Uh, life coaching is more than achieving specific goals. It's about helping individuals unlock their potential, change uh, limiting behaviors, and live a life aligned with their values. While life coaching focuses on all aspects of personal growth, executive and career coaching has specific and uh, professional development and leadership uh, focus. Executive coaching typically centers on high-level leadership skills and decision-making, while ca career coaching uh, guides clients through uh, job transitions and uh, skill building for career advancement. Yet all these coaching methods share a holistic approach addressing business, work, and life concerns, whether they be stress, uh, time management uh, issues, decision making, priority setting. And this integrated approach ensures that individuals don't just succeed in one area, but experience growth and fulfillment across all areas of their lives. So whether you're looking to advance your career, improve your leadership, or make a meaningful life change, coaching can be a powerful tool for achieving a balanced and purpose-driven life. Now, if you're looking to make meaningful changes in your life, uh, or may simply feel stuck. Uh, remember that life coaching can provide the breakthrough that you need. So take a moment to reflect on uh, areas in your own life uh, where you might want to uh, create a change. What behaviors are, you, are holding you back? What would your life look like? if you made those small incremental adjustments. Now, if you're ready to take the next step, I encourage you to consider working with a coach. And together, uh, you can unlock new levels of potential and bring your goals within your reach. Now, thank you for joining me on this episode of The Authentic Coach. Uh, and be sure to to uh, subscribe and uh, in order to stay updated about our future episodes and continue exploring coaching insights strategies and tools and if you found uh, today's discussion valuable uh, please share this with other people our podcast uh next podcast will be on the authentic coach uh, around marketing. So in the meantime, take care and continue being your authentic self. And bye for now.